Hey, how's it going? It's Eric. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install the side hack. All right, so the tools I'll be using are a half inch and 9 16 box wrench, as well as a 3 16 hex driver. If it makes it easier for you, you can also use a socket. So today I'm gonna to show the most common scenario that we'll probably have of install. So that's the side hack plus the ultra table. So as you can see here, we've already removed the tire and I'm gonna go ahead and take the table off and then show you how the side hack interfaces with the table bracket. All right, let's see what you get in your box. Here you go, this is how you'll see your, your side hack. There's four bolts in here with nylon washers for packaging. These won't be used when you install uh, the side hack on the Ultra Swing. Inside this box, you'll find your hardware. Okay. Let's take it out. All right, so we're gonna remove these four bolts, but you'll, wanna, you'll save the bolt and you can toss the nylon washer. So you'll notice this last bolt here is longer than the others. And underneath there is an aluminum spacer and you'll also wanna hang on to that because that'll be used uh, during the installation that goes between the slot plate and the, and the cover right here. Okay, let's start with the hardware. So you have two link plates. You have four 5 16 by 7 8 hex head screws with Belleville washers and oversized washers. We have two 3 8 by one and a quarter hex head cap screws with split washers, oversized washers, and nylocks. Then we have a 5 16 by one and a half button head with Belva washer, oversized washer, and there's a corresponding aluminum spacer. Okay, and then there are six 5 16 by 7 8 button heads with Belva washers and oversized washers. Okay, so as you can see, I've removed the two 3 8 bolts that came with the bracket for the Ultra Table. I removed them, and we're going to instead use the longer one and a quarter inch uh, bolts that came with your hardware kit. So I've, I've inserted them into the side hat cover like shown with the split washer against the head of the bolt and the flat washer underneath. Okay, now that this side cover is bolted up, we're gonna move on to the next step of mounting the sidearm. As you can see, there's a variety of holes for your accessories, but we'll need to attach those accessories before we bolt the two halves together. All right, so today we're gonna to be mounting a fuel packs. Um, as you can see, these are the Rotopax mount locations. So we have two in case you want to mount it high or low, or you're using a four gallon Rotopax. You can use both at the same time. So today we're going to be mounting this guy in the horizontal location. If you forget, to mount your accessory before you put the two halves together, that's no problem because these holes are so that you can access your accessory hardware. Okay, so you'll put the sidearm over the tube. If you come around over here, I can show you how you line the holes up. So each slot has a corresponding threaded hole. All right, so I like to mount this link first. That. I take the other bolts over here. Okay, you can just leave it there. Next step, 
insert these two bolts. Okay, the next step is to install the slot plate. I like to start out by hanging it by a corner. There we go. Next step, insert your spacer and put in the one and a half inch bolt. Okay, finally, you're gonna do the last three bolts. Remember, you haven't snugged anything yet. Everything is loose. So what I like to do is tighten all the bolts down about halfway to make sure all the threads are on. Then starting from these hex heads, I tighten down and then work my way left. You don't need to over torque anything, but you do need to make sure that the Belleville washer is compressed completely flat. So before we install this ultra table, I wanted to show how the side hack is also compatible with our older style of table bracket, as you can see here. All right, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just give us a ring or shoot us an email and we'll be glad to help you out.